Do you have every reason not to follow Christ, but you did? What yes. do you tell that young lady? And I, we close. I may have every reason, <laughs> but I don't have every right because he did so much more for us than what we've ever been through. And who am I to discount the price that Christ paid on the cross? You know, and so, but I say this to those who are struggling with the depression or perhaps in this quarantine time and you've spent too much alone with your own thoughts. There's a couple of things. I, I love the verse in the Bible that says, whatsoever is pure, good, holy, think on these things. And let me give you a practical way of thinking on these things. I think one of the greatest gifts in our mental health arsenal is post-it notes, you know, mm. or just a little square piece of paper. And write down what was one of the funniest things you can remember from your childhood. Maybe it was just a person that used to make you laugh. Maybe it's a person that makes you laugh now. Uh, what was the one of the nicest books you ever read that just made you feel good about yourself? What's one of the best days you've ever had in your life? Maybe it was your wedding day, or maybe that was the worst. Maybe not. <laughs> or maybe it was the birth of a child. You know, maybe it was you uh, something you accomplished. You graduated from high school. You know. Whatever that is that you, what the minute I started talking about good stuff, write those down, it put a post it on each one. And, and then you put it on your fridge or your mirror, wherever you're going to look constantly. And the reason I tell you that, you know, it's real quickly to write, lament the sad stuff. Oh, my sister's gone. My mother's dead. My, you know, my husband's gone. I'll never have sex again. You know, and you just write all that down. It's easy to write the bad stuff. I try to encourage to people to write post-it notes of victories and fun and hilarious. And maybe it's just a funny picture out of a magazine. Cut it out and tape it everywhere where you'll see it. <coughs> Excuse me. That is the pattern of goodness. And if God did all those things in the past, he doesn't just stop. So that's a pattern of goodness that will continue in this mm -hmm. life. It will continue when this is over. And so you keep your mind set on those things and Amen. don't let the devil have one moment of telling you, all, reminding you of all the bad stuff. So you think on those things and that keeps your mind busy. Maybe it's a day that you have, can spend scrapbooking or going through magazines and cut out the funniest picture you've seen in a magazine or the dumbest advertisement you've seen in a magazine. In other words, start training your mind to find the good and the funny and the right and the joyful and then turn the television. After this chat here, turn the TV off. Turn the laptop off. Spend some time, you know, breathing in nature and keeping the lights on if it's cloudy outside. Playing. I'm sure my neighbors think Kirk Franklin and the family live in my bathroom because I play Kirk Franklin music so loud. I'm sure they think Danny Gokey is staying in my guest room because <laughs> I blare, you know, I blare good Christian music that keeps me uplifted and I get my mind away from anything that the devil could use to bring me down.